Hey girlfriend, I am sure that you know the importance of removing your mascara at night. But have you ever wondered how to remove your mascara? Well, we're gonna get to the bottom of that in today's video. <laughs> Hi, my name is Inga Faye and I'm a beauty enthusiast. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to remove waterproof mascara without wipes. I'm sure this is something that's been on your mind and we're gonna to get to the bottom of that in today's video. Secondly, we're gonna talk about what the best mascara remover is. I know everybody probably has an opinion on this, but today I'm gonna to give you my recommendation that has worked wonders for me. And last, but definitely not least, we're gonna talk about what happens if you don't take off your mascara. Now, this is gonna daze, glaze, and amaze you, girlfriend. So you definitely want to watch this so you can get the 411. How do you take off waterproof mascara without using wipes? Well, commonly I have heard that people use oil to do that. And there's a variety of different oils. It could be baby oil, it could be olive oil, or even coconut oil. But I don't know about you, but I am oily, I have oily skin, and I just don't wanna put any extra oil on my face because my face naturally produces its own oil. So if I can stay away from oil that could potentially cause a breakout for me, I wanna do everything possible to do that. So in my opinion, oil is really not a good product to use to take off waterproof mascara. Waterproof mascara is very resilient and that's why it's waterproof. So I have found that an oil-free eye makeup remover works best. Another thing that I have also noticed after doing some research is that oil can actually block your oil ducts, which will prevent you from creating tears, which is a natural protection process of the eyes. So I have avoided this oil altogether and have used just a straight up eye makeup remover to remove my mascara, even waterproof mascara. And I will tell you more about that in the next segment. But before I go on and tell you what I feel like is the best mascara remover to use, I wanted to remind you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We will upload a video every Tuesday for your viewing pleasure and we don't want you to miss a beat. So be sure that you subscribe. So what is the best mascara remover? Well, I'm sure everyone has their own preference and that will determine what mascara remover they like the most. But my personal preference is an oil-free mascara remover that has a dual phase concentration in it. So you may be thinking, what do I mean by dual phase concentration? It has a phase four waterproof mascara, so it'll take that off at ease. And then there's also a phase that also has a remover from non-waterproof mascara. And what happens is when you shake it up, you shake it together, the two phases combine and makes your mascara just melt off with your cotton ball. So it's just a quick wipe off your eyes. You don't have to tug, you don't have to pull, you just gently remove the mascara off your eyes with ease. How cool would that be? I absolutely love this eye makeup remover and you can find it in the description below. It removes eye makeup, waterproof mascara, as well as regular mascara. It's one of Mary Kay's best sellers. It has earned the Good Housekeeping Seal that was given based on the Good Housekeeping Research Institute, actually trying the eye makeup remover out and proving that it does gently remove eye makeup as well as waterproof mascara. It has also earned the Great Value Award from the Woman's Day Magazine. In 2021, it earned the Best in Black Beauty Award from Essence Magazine. And also in 2021, it earned the New Beauty Award. So don't take it from me. These are four other people outside of the Mary Kay community that feel like this mascara is the bomb.com. So if you haven't tried it yet, be sure to check out the link below so you can look at this, well, you can find out more about this mascara and determine if this was something that you would want to try. So based on the information that I, I just shared with you, I would love to know if you would like to try this. Be sure to like and comment below if you would like to try this mascara based on all of these beauty of awards that it's won for the Good Housekeeping Seal Award, the Women's Day Magazine Award, the Essence Magazine Award, and the Best Beauty Award. 
we get man the awards i mean it's obviously it speaks for itself so i wanted to talk to you now about what happens if you don't take your mascara off it well when you apply mascara your lashes become stiff and brittle and if you don't remove the mascara at night when you go to bed you can actually break your lashes. Your lashes are stiff and brittle when the mascara is not removed from your eyes. And as a result of that, this can lead to lash breakage because lashes are just hair. And similar to your hair, if you don't properly condition it, it will break off. Well, it's not good. Your lashes become stiff and brittle when you don't remove the mascara because the mascara is holding the lashes in place. So what you want to do is make sure that you remove your mascara so you can avoid lash breakage, which can also lead to lash thinning, which can also lead to you potentially scratching your cornea. And I know you don't wanna do that. Just merely taking off your mascara at night is going to prevent those three things, lash breakage, lash thinning, and potentially scratching your cornea because of the stiff and brittle lashes as a result of not removing your mascara. Another thing that can happen if you don't take off your mascara at night is a bacterial infection. I read an article where there was a woman that was 50 years old that wore mascara for 25 years straight and never removed it. And it led to a, a very bad eye infection that the only way that it could be removed is through surgery. So they had to put her asleep to remove the bacteria from her eye. So I'm sure you do not want to experience that type of surgery because it's preventable. All you have to do is just remove your mascara at night. In addition to that, there are no prosthesis for your eyes. So if something happens to your eyes, there's no way to cover it up. Everybody's gonna see it. Um, so you wanna make sure that you are taking the time necessary to remove the mascara from your lashes before you go to bed. So I've talked to you about the mascara remover that I personally use. I have a link to that mascara in the description below, as well as links to the mascara club. I would love to help you maintain your lashes as well as help you swap out your mascara on the appropriate frequency with eye makeup remover. So in the description below, I have a link for the mascara club that includes eye makeup remover. Just click the link below to get the details about this mascara club. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.